Welcome to the July 2019 energy update. And this month, it really is so much about just letting go. Letting go and allowing the universe, spirit, whatever, to bring you exactly what you need. So it's all about really um, getting out of your head and thinking that you know how everything needs to go and allowing for this opening of possibilities to be pretty much handed to you, right? To be shown to you, to um, come into your experience so that you can follow that path because you know spirits always trying to get through to us and sometimes we're so caught up in our own so-called agenda that we cannot see or we don't acknowledge uh, the little gifts that are being sent to us the little messages that are showing us where to go <laughs> so stick around for that Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Linda Armstrong. I'm an awakening coach and an energy healer. And uh, I like to talk about all things to do with manifesting a life that you love, which is my website, lovemylife.coach. And uh, really just um, talking about things that we can do to release that subconscious programming that is pulling us back and stopping us from really stepping into um, our purpose and our path here on this planet <laughs> so let's get into this energy update because um well i picked a couple of cards before i started because i'm i asked okay spirit what is there to talk about for the month of july what do the people need to know what can i share that will guide them into you know like moving into that next part what's what's coming up for you next in this month of july right <laughs> that's what this is all about so I picked four cards and really, you know, I'm actually going to read the cards to you because I like to give my interpretation, but I also like to give the interpretation as written by the people who, you know, put this whole Oracle deck together and what it was they were tapping into the message of that card. So then, you know, you can see what resonates with you because maybe the way I perceive it is not the way you would perceive it. And, and listen. Every, no matter who shares, whatever I share, whatever anybody else shares, you have to find what resonates with you. It's always an inside job. The power is yours. So I can just tap into energy, let you know what I'm feeling and what the cards are telling me, and then uh, you take it wherever it is meant to lead you. So if you're watching this video, I imagine it's going to be right on for you too. So. It's all about really what I started saying in the beginning is getting out of our own way, you know, like opening up to, and I've been doing a lot of videos about this because this is really what the energy is like right now. Coming into that place of trust, that place of peace, allowing your communication with spirit, opening to receive and hear the guidance that wants to come through. When we get stuck in our own mind with our own ideas of how things need to be or what you must do to get to your next level or um, what other people may have told you is needed for you to get to where you want to go, because there's a lot of that out there, right? I mean, we're all going through this awakening, but some more than others. Some haven't even awakened at all. And they're still running off these old patterns and programs that we are totally shifting out of now, right? These patterns and programs based on the past, based on really a lot of it, based on struggle coming from fear and doubt and limitations, right? Not believing in yourself to know that you are enough and that whatever it is that lights you up is your gift that you are to share with the world. And the more that you share from your heart, from this high energy of love, which is what I always speak about, um, that's how you ascend. It's we, We'll ascend higher and higher and higher the more we can hold this high vibration of love. <laughs> so, all right, I feel like I'm going off on a tangent, but getting to the cards. So I'm going to read them, but they really are speaking to um, 
getting out of your head and deciding what it is you think how things have to be because when you're there you're not open to all the possibilities what could happen I mean, this is the unlimited universe right has no we don't know where it ends it doesn't end it just keeps going well we are that that is us so we get stuck in limiting ourselves and what it is that we think we can do and accomplish when really we can do and accomplish anything as long as you're leading from that high vibration of love peace joy and allowing the messages as they come in whether you're aware of receiving it or not if you're open and in that high vibe you will receive the messages you'll be guided to where you need to go because long before i even awakened to know um that i'm far more than this <laughs> package um i didn't realize that that, that I'm an expanded being and that I have this potential to do whatever I want. Things would happen for me and I wasn't even aware. I was being guided the whole way. And it, so where do I want to go with that? I'm trying to, okay, let me see what Spirit's saying. Okay, yeah. So it doesn't, so, so if people don't realize this awakening is going on, right? They're still being guided. And the better that they can find ways to feel good now, the easier that comes through. So my point is this, awakened, everybody's awakening. So I can't say not awakened, but aware of your awakening and all that comes with it um, is not necessary. What's necessary is that you just get out of your own way. Because, you know, your soul knows its plan, right? <laughs> when we get out of our head and just drop into the energy of love, your soul just leads the way. You don't even have to be consciously aware of it. As, but if you're coming from your heart, you're going to go there. Okay, that's a lot of rambling to try to say that one sentence, but that, that's basically it. So I want to get these cards. Um, I picked two of them from this energy oracle. And the first one was adjacent possibilities but in the reverse position okay and so in the reverse position I'm going to read right straight from the book okay you take it however you feel that it resonates with you best but it says when reversed the adjacent possibilities card is warning you to be careful not to miss an unknown opportunity because you're too married to your agenda right you're too in your head of thinking that how it has to be um so it says it's also asking you to turn inward with the willingness to shake up your old unhealthy patterns and inner habits. The power of your life force moves through you deep through you through your deeply held habits, projecting your energy out into the universe and calling back the results. Okay, so law of attraction, right? Whatever energy you put out, you're going to put back in. So if you're stuck in this mindset of trying to figure it out, well, that's the energy you're putting out there. You're just trying. It's like you can't get there. Um, all right, so I'm going off on a tangent again. It says, in this way, your ongoing thoughts and beliefs are really your defining moments. And in every moment, you have another energetic choice. So it's time to decide. Are you going to let worry and self-doubt define you? Or are you going to step into the ever-present adjacent possibilities of optimism, trust, and self-love? So really, it's creating through lower vibes or creating through higher vibes. The more you find ways to live in a high vibration, the easier it all unfolds for you. The answers, things just show up. And I'm, I've been proving that myself because for a while I was really stuck on something I was trying to figure, trying, I see there's that word, trying to figure it out. I think I did a video on that. I'll put it up here somewhere. Um, trying to figure it out. That blocks you. You want to get out of your head and into your heart. Okay. So... It says, no matter how stuck you feel, you always have options in the thousands of choices that you make every day. Yeah, and you know, and I like to think of it this way. There really are no bad or wrong choices. It's just experience, right? Maybe you need to do some of those bad choices or bad experiences to gain the expansion that comes from it by realizing your inner power that you can shift into allowing opening to have inspiration flow through and have spirit uh, lead you yeah
got to get out of, I can't say it enough. You got to get out of the head and into the heart. That's the only way to create. And then when you're in the heart and you're not out of the head, I mean, out of the worries, not the imagination, because that's powerful. But when you're creating from your heart through your imagination, through these high vibrations of feeling the essence of what it is, how you want to feel each and every day by holding that essence Everything that's meant to be for you on your path will be there. Okay, so this other card, again from this same deck, is attachment upside down. Okay, so attachment in reverse. Actually, the heading for this card, it says, perceived need and the choice to let go. <laughs> Perfect. So it says, this card reverse is a wonderful indicator that an old negative pattern, relationship, or desperate attitude is being released so yeah because we've been going through ugh, so much purging i mean it doesn't feel good and it feels like uh, i have a couple of big ones that are going on and it, it can really kind of take you down but so many things you can do to lift your vibration because really there's nothing that good that can be created from a low vibration just more low vibration stuff this this energy thing like attracting like it, it it is the way it is okay so as you continue to let go you'll be able to establish new ways of doing things and relating to others the universe wants to congratulate you on your healthy new approach right because we're moving out of that thing of having to figure it all out right um you know, letting go of those old unsupportive patterns, programs, beliefs. I mean, this is the work I do. I help people with this all the time. Just releasing those subconscious program that's dictating how things go. And, you know, most of the time it's not coming from the heart. It's coming from past experience stored somewhere and usually not the good stuff. The good stuff is there too. I don't want to take that away. But when you're feeling blocked and when we're going through all this purging it's really letting go of those things that would keep you blocked so that you can then open up to this free and easy breezy flowing down the river going with the flow allowing spirit to just lead you and take you there uh, okay let's see what else it wants to say so some patterns can be deeply encoded and you may need to continue releasing the old habits all the while honoring the new decisions in your thoughts, actions, and interactions with others. You've broken the change, chains, and now you can walk away from the limiting attachments into a bright and unlimited future. So yeah, that's July. July, it's like the beginning, like new, really new beginnings are here. We've done all that purging. Maybe there's a little more of that to come up because, you know, but, but the thing is, it's okay. Because you're just looking at it. It's like you're looking at it head on and saying, okay, I see you, negative pattern. <laughs> I'm letting you go. Because you know what? I don't choose to live there anymore. It's not what I'm, but I'm, it's not what I'm interested in. All right, so let's go to the next card I got was forces of nature. Forces of nature. And uh, short and sweet, it says, if you've ever watched a thunderstorm, You'll have seen that when it reaches its peak, the crack of thunder and electrical vibration flows from heavens, from the heaven to the earth in a momentary flow, reconnecting and energizing it from within. And that feels pretty awesome. Yeah, right there in the storm. Yeah, you can feel the, the ions in the air, right? Um, okay, so it says... Um, so you feel that this reconnection and this energy that comes from um, from within, and then it passes, allowing a stillness to open up, letting us know all is calm and refreshed, because that's really how it feels. Don't fight what cannot be controlled. Let it go. So you might want to, if you've never felt that, you, you might want to go outside during a storm, especially if there's like, you know, lightning going off and it, it, just any big storm. You go outside afterwards and you can just feel that stillness and that quiet, even like after a big snowstorm and it's really quiet out there and you're just listening and you're just soaking in that beautiful energy that has been produced through that storm. So you can kind of look at it like it's just washing away all that stuff that wasn't serving and um, 
you know, bringing in this new stuff, this new energy. So July, that's July. I feel that, I feel that I'm looking forward to it too. <laughs> that July is really about bringing new beginnings, you know. There is an eclipse coming up and uh, that, that energy will support the new beginnings, right? Um, yeah, it's really, really a big shifting going on. So pay attention to that and really show gratitude for like every little thing that's good. Because then we can invoke the law of attraction again, right? We notice more and more, no matter how big or how small, of this good stuff. You just get more of it. And it keeps you in that high vibe, in that fresh, relaxed, open space where you can breathe and know that everything is okay. I mean, look, I can breathe. I'm here. Everything is okay. All those things that we think are problems, let's look at them as if, and just say, okay, so what if this is exactly perfect? Right here, right now, this is exactly what's meant to be, and it's leading me forward to something awesome and amazing. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of that. It feels good, it feels good, and as you hold that space, you'll notice the good stuff comes in. So the last card I wanna go over is um, the resting tree. And it was in the reverse. So it's about patience and stillness. Okay, we're just talking about that a bit. Okay, so that was as a challenger upside down. So it says the resting tree appears as a challenger, asks you to consider if you're so frenetic that all you can think about is how stressed you are, running around and overdoing anything only makes you into... Mm -hmm. I love, I love this, a human, a human doing, doing not, not a, human a human being, being. right? So this card, this is a sign to be careful of how you may become physically ill or at the very least unable to enjoy life. Be still. It's time to meditate and take time out or you'll make some mistakes that you may regret later because you know when you meditate and you get into that peaceful place, you're actually dropping into your heart, you're expanding your energy, you're connecting to the everything, right? And that's where all the good stuff is. That's where the information will come through to you. And it doesn't have to be sitting in meditation. It could be anything that brings you into that place of just feeling that deep inner connection. So, you know, really getting out of all that frantic energy of the mind trying to figure out every little thing. Um, so it says, don't worry, all those things that you're trying to manage will still be there when you're ready to move forward again, right? So really taking the time out, being in that stillness, like that, you know, that other card with the, um, the energy after the storm, how everything's quiet and expanded. It's like it opens up to those unlimited possibilities. Like in that energy, when you hold that energy, you truly feel like anything is possible. We want to get back into that childlike mind, right? Where they know anything is possible. The only trouble is the big people and the group collective think squashes that within the child. And then we, we lose that connection. But it's still there because it's part of us. So my point of that is I talk about it a lot. We come in here knowing this, knowing our ability as creators to have fun in this playground of the earth <laughs> all right so i think it only has to say uh, last thing it has to say is um yeah only then will you have a clearer head from which to think so when you can go into that space and just be not trying to figure anything out just being in that peace <coughs> you really will expand. So for some reason, my throat is just getting really messed up on that last card. So let, let me just do a clearing for that, right? So if there, if I'm picking this up from the collective energy, um, let me just ask spirit, we'll just do a clearing on, oh, yeah. <laughs> so what I'm hearing is this, let's just clear all, any, all the vows, oaths, and decisions that forbid you and prevent you 
to step into your power as a creator, to express yourself in your life as a creator, knowing your connection to source. Yeah, that's it. That's all they're saying. So we just want to release any vows, oaths, or decisions that would prevent that from being your truth. From you knowing it, acknowledging it, owning it. So we're just going to release all those vows, oaths, decisions, any energetic, mental, emotional ties to all of the times when you deprived yourself of being that creative, expressive you. Having that connection to the energies that want to flow through you flow through you, right? Through you. So we want to clear this space. So we're just sending a beautiful healing energy to this throat chakra. Yeah, I'm just going to download you and say yes if you want this download, right? You have to you have to claim it if you want to have it. So we're just going to download for you what it feels like to have an open and clear communication with source, with spirit that allows you the, to then go out into the world, into your life, and express your truth and be the amazing creative being that you came here to be. Wow. Okay. Uh, I think I could probably just make that last bit of video and that would be enough because, whoa, that energy feels good. My throat is better. <laughs> I love how this stuff works. Um, and so, that's all. That's all for now. I would love you to subscribe, like, share, hit that bell for notifications. And uh, yeah, really leave me comments. Let me know if any of this rings true to you. I'd love to hear about it because I feel like this reading really speaks a lot to me. And I know it speaks to a lot of the people that I'm working with right now. We're kind of all going through the same stuff, maybe in a little bit different way, maybe in different areas of our life, but ultimately it's the same Thing. And I think it boils down to um, what happened here at the end when my throat got clogged in that um, we just want to open up that, that um, channel to allow spirit to move through you and to send you, allowing you to receive it, um, the inspiration that will take you forward. So that's all. I will see you on another, another video. Bye for now.